Hey, it's Amanda from Attorney Traders. This is my husband, Josh. Hello. We were just having a little discussion and I wanted your input on it. Um, a little background. So our son is three months now. His name is Sam. And he is, he feeds from a bottle. So I exclusively pump. I wasn't able to nurse. I've got a blog about it if you're really that interested. Um, but he takes a bottle. So we are having this discussion about who gets up with him in the middle of the night because I pump for him. So my thought here is that since I'm pumping, he can get up and feed the baby. And I couldn't disagree more. I feel that since you're already up, you know, you might as well just feed him, you know, so you're like, already up. What you don't understand is that this whole process of pumping and feeding and changing the baby takes an hour. So I get up when he gets up. And I go out and I change him, and then I feed him, and then I put him down, and then I have to pump. And I'm pumping for 25, 30 yeah, minutes. Yeah, but you have the hands-free ones, so you can just... Right, but he's screaming while I'm putting this on, so you're up anyway because he's screaming, and you might as well just feed him. Yeah, but I can half sleep through the screaming, so... So how come I have to be up for an hour, and you get to sleep? I would do the same thing for you. But you're not... This is what we're discussing, but you're not. But I would. But you're, not, <laughs> but you're not. When you can feed the baby, we can change. How about that? So when you feed the baby, I'll get up and, and change him and feed him from the bottle when you pump. <laughs> um, I can't. Oh, so I think you should get up and change and feed the baby. Can we just change the subject for a minute and just talk about how loud the pump is, for one? <laughs> um, does it affect your sleep? It does. <laughs> I'm sorry that I have to be up to pump to feed our baby and you can't sleep. <laughs> so... I mean, my, you know, maybe you could take the pump in the living room. <laughs> because I'm trying to sleep, and then all of a sudden I hear a... <laughs> for like an hour. That's a really good impression. Thank you. You're I hear it every kidding. night, so... You're kidding, right? Huh? You're kidding, right? No. So how about how about we try it? Why don't we do an experiment? Mm. Okay, so every time he gets up, mm. you get up with him, and you change him and feed him, mm -hmm. and I get up and I pump. But that, but then I wouldn't be able to sleep. <laughs> so let's let's just premise this with now that he's fourteen weeks old. I am back to work full time. You work full time. <laughs> Yeah. Full <laughs> so there's really no reason that your sleep is more important than my sleep. I'm also hooked up to a pump for two and a half hours a day to try and feed our baby. On top of working which is 40, 50 hours a week because I'm a teacher. Which my 40, 50 hours a week is way more exhausting than your 40, 50 hours a week. 50, 60. Okay, my 40, 50 hours of teaching are still way more exhausting than your 50, 60 hours a week. No, we're not. Debate. Well, that's not anyway. <laughs> Let's try this experiment. So, the point is, you're already <laughs> up. You might as well just handle it. I'm so mad at you right now. We have to agree to this experiment. The All people right. need to know. Fine, we'll try it. Okay, so we're going to try it for like a week. And if it doesn't work, then we'll just go back to the original plan of you <laughs> just getting up since you're already up. All right. Done. <laughs> Not how this works.